Hello everyone, welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2, the Lizardmen Campaign. Last time, the Bowmen of Orion were good elves, and they helped me by getting me a nice easy war on the... What are these guys called again? The Necrock Brotherhood. One of the groups of zombies fla farting around around here. So I'm going to kill the entirety of the Necrock Brotherhood, mostly so I can get some more territory, and thus increase my income of Ancient Blacks, which is pretty decent at 35, but I can always use more. Hmm. It would be nice if I could find out what was involved in these three... In these two stacks, rather, because... They seem to be clan rats, who are really bad, and I think I could take it if it's just clan rats, but if it's not just clan rats, I could have a problem. So... Let's end the turn and see what happens, ladies and gents. My Scar Veteran moves closer to the Elven Ruins, because I forgot about that. Oh well. Ah, Lothurn, Luremasters, Hexwaddle, and all these other mini factions. Go fuck yourself, Queek. If you try and attack me, fucking bring it. Bring it, mate. Bring it. He's not even going straight in. He'll, he, I might even have time to bring in a reinforcing army to you attack. No, that depends on what they're fielding. And is that literally just a lord running around my territory? Literally just a lord. God damn it, Clan Mars, you spent. You spawned chaos stacks right in the middle of my damn territory, you little turd burglars. Alright. Once Crockgar finishes replenishing, I'm swaying south and wiping out Queekhead Taker permanently. This is getting stupid and it's annoying, and they're all going to die for pissing me off and existing. Which really is half the reason they're pissing me off, because they're Skaven. I don't like the Skaven. Whoa, Quetgar just got his ass kicked! That's going to be interesting. So, Quaquayan is running around and cleansing local corruption for me a little. Now he's not anymore, grumble grumble. I wish I had that it's a building that gave all of my heroes and lords plus five uh, untainted by default. Which, that, it, which would be very nice for cleansing the Southlands of all these bloody undead. I'm going to need many shrines to the old ones, because they give public order, and they give, you know... Unchainted. More than the Shrine of Sotek, even the Shrine of Sotek's post-battle loot, faction-wide, is very, very nice. Wow. Looks like the Dawi have built up Bagar quite efficiently, and... They assaulted my garrison at Antok. Interesting choice. Failed, but it's an interesting choice. I really do want to fight one of their armies in an open field battle, though. Because Lizardmen versus zombies and skeletons is just absolutely hilarious. It's a giant joke, and it's a great fun joke, too. Oh my. Please don't actually demolish this lot, I'd, I'd like to keep the Tier 5 settlement chaos, so if you don't mind... I don't really have a beef with you guys, because you're off to kill some rats. But as soon as you fuck with me, my shit, I'll fuck you up. Okay? I can't afford the construction time, and I have enough spare money to be confident. Wow. The hero fucked up so hard that they actually killed themselves despite being undead. Well done, sirs. I'm gonna auto-resolve Kasabar because, well, that just isn't enough of a garrison to make me think it's worth a good fight. I'm sorry. It basically just be- and then I charged over the walls and ran over everything. I'm Occupy it. I got a Dragon Helm! Not bad at all. I guess grazing pastures are decent enough. I think you have a vampire con- You have bloodlust, which is growth minus 10, leadership minus 2, but plus 5% casualty replenishment rate. I'll actually take that, that's good. 
Can I give you a talisman? I can give you a talisman of endurance. Okay, I'll give you that, because you're actually running around and killing things for me. Things being killed for me instead of be things being killed at me is pretty good. Oh, the Western Jungle's hit five! Which means I need to demolish this growth building. I think I should demolish the Grand Plaza too, because I have the Tablet of Monuments. I do have the Tablet of Monuments, right? Yep, good. So I no longer need to keep it around for public order. Alright, let's see what the force at baseline you attack is. Do they have anything special? They're fielding clan rats and skaven slaves. I could take them on the walls, but sheer numbers would drown me in the field. Even if slamming a bunch of croxagores into their clan rats would be hilarious. Take me, Scraghole, Quet Jarok. You have five Saurus Warriors of Shields and a Blessed Stegodon, and you're not so dangerous yourself. And you're not exactly not dangerous yourself. Hmm. Trap them inside and burn the warehouse. Plus three public order all provinces, because rebels. I think they should probably not let the... Lizardmen have that, because while I do like that one, it's very easy to just get a bunch of public order. You also have the issue that, you know, it doesn't really fit with lizard men. They don't have public or they don't have rebels. They're lizard men. You just got your ass kicked, so I'm going to bribe you. Why are you so pissy? Valiant look. These lands are ours by the right granted from the Lady of the Lake. What do you want? Fine. I'll take a nap with you temporarily because you do have one of those mountain regions that I don't want. That I'm going to try and restrict the Dawi to because if and if they get out of line, I'll murder them because. I am the lizard man. Hmm. Alright, I have plenty of room to swing up and hit the springs of eternal life. Hmm. Speaking of that, do I have the. <coughs> Damn it. Sorry, there's something caught in my throat, it seems. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Ugh. Okay! I think I'll upgrade the Western Jungles, but if I can, I'll take Zlotlin so I can recruit a Skink Priest and throw it into to Mantarax's army. Preferably a Heaven Skink Priest, because while Beasts is good, I prefer Heavens for the Breath Attack. If you prefer Beasts, good for you. Make your own choices, ladies and gents. But me, I'll stick with what I have. In fact... Speaking of sticking with what I have, I'll be able to replenish in my own territory. Crocgar, get the hell down here. How many turns do I have to spend walking to replenish my troops fully? One. Alright. I feel confident in me able to taking Tamantarax's army, even though it has a bunch of Saurus without shields up against any undead force. Because these Saurus have pretty good XP. And I've buffed up my Saurus quite a lot. And by the sequence of armor crafting isn't going to help them too much. It is plus 5 armor, but the missile resist is literally useless against the undead. Because the undead have no missile troops. But eh. Alright. What else is there to do? Two turns until I finish the Ritual of Rumination. If they go in at you attack, I'm going to fight it. Both for a battle this episode, hopefully, and for the sake of, well, shinnies. No, need my orb token stash. Yeah, Quetgar has a forbidden rod. Ah, he's worked on his wind blast too. Good job, Quetgar. Wind blast is very powerful indeed. And honestly, if I ram that stack up the ass of this one of these Skaven groups, I think I could take it. 
Especially if I got managed to get the horn ones in amongst their slingers so they so their range troops went splat. Bah. Anyway, let's end the turn. Finish attack. Are they going to think that one lord is going to change the tide in that fight? Really? Yeah, I'll kill them off happily. No losses on my part. How did you kill two? There was literally only one! I think that's a bug, ladies and gentlemen, because there is literally no way to kill two Skaven. There was only one Skaven. I'm going to call that a bug. Hurry up already. What are these buggers even thinking? Very useful. Alright, you, 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 you. What did you have? You had that, which I don't want. In come up. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. I don't really care about any pterodons, but there's money, money, money to be made, made, made. Money, 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 money. Money, money, everybody loves some money. Temple Precinct, please. And oh, Tamantrax leveled from the passive XP gains. Oh, Lord's Gain, I believe it's 100 points of passive XP. Jungle Dominion will be good, because I'll get my Saurus once they hit gold ranks. Quite nice buffs. Some of them, as you can see, are quite close to gold. Like, these guys are one, two good battles away. Dendra. What? No. I misclicked. That's annoying. Twelve turns until I can upgrade the Temple of Skulls to its final level. That's good. I could use that place buffed up. Ah, oh, this guy got a skill point. Though he had Root Marcher, let's start buffing up his army, as I usually do. Come on, Confederate, Confederate. You have a slon on your side, I really want to Confederate with you. But 
But now they're at war with Clan Mars too, which means I might be seeing Quetgar swing up to support me at U Attack. Quetgar, get down here as quickly as possible. Alrighty then. Hmm. Next target, the Springs of Eternal Life. And after that, Quatar, New Mass, and the Salt Plain. Take a great big sweep around Kemri, avoiding Kemri itself, and hopefully demolishing any armies along the way. Oh wow, Bretonia actually gets a decent garrison at El occupied elven colonies. Why, it's nearly as good as their previous ones from before the nerfs in this game. Bretonia had better get some nasty garrison buffs to compensate later on, frankly. Or something else changed about them to make them really, really good. Anyway, let's end the turn, and unless something happens, we're going to be seeing the Ritual of Rumination complete. Ugh, stretch. Which would make a bunch of the Lizardmen factions like me quite a bit more. It's like Clan Morris has decided not to move in on you attack this turn. Gives me more time to go and say, Hey! Crocgar! To their faces. Alright. Hello, um, fuck you. Here we go! The Cosmos engine was activated as the plaques foretold. Muscle power! But it was not brute force alone that turned the gears. Oh? Knowledge was the spark of ignition. Wow! That's pretty as hell. I like it. Ignorance is a chasm. Knowledge is 
is the bridge that will deliver us from peril. That's a good line, I like it. I think I might use that at some point. Not in this, obviously, because, well, <laughs> it just did. That'd be dumb. Uh, I'll commit to the research for a thousand gold pieces. Aha! An Age of Discovery! The Raging Sea God, Stromfels, has gone missing. Perhaps blown too far south by the arcane tempest that is consuming the world. With his absence, the great ocean is becalmed. The denizens of this world sense an opportunity. It is now no longer for the elves to dominate the seas alone. Other powers seek to ply the oceans, hunt for treasures, and expand their empires abroad. However, they must not mistake a calm sea for a safe one. There are still countless dangers lurking in the depths. This is a very good event. It pops up semi-randomly somewhat late in the game. It's not very reliable how, about how it pops up, honestly. But it is quite a nice event. Alright, 58%, 54%. I'll take 54% in case I misclick a little. And then in camp... Lord not moved. Crocgar, I want you to keep going down here. If I can get you into reinforcement range of you attack, that basically means I'm going to win that fight for sure. And if they do take you attack, well... Temple Guard versus Unshielded Clan Rats. There is very little question when your fights are Temple Guard versus Unshielded Clan Rats. Come on, join me. Fine. Hexawaddle won't give me a... That, I don't, really? Really, guys? Really? Do you know who I am? These lands are ours, by the right granted from the Lady of the Lake. What do you... Oh, I don't own a major port. That's the issue. I need to have a main city with a port, and I don't do that. Yay! Fuck you! And yeah, quit Drac. If I sent him in at you attack, would just get slaughtered. Sure, he has an ancient, a blessed Stegon, five cards of shielded source warriors, but no, they're badly damaged enough. I don't think they could take anything on. Krokgar obviously is nowhere near damaged. Indeed, he is fully restored and re ready and willing to slaughter all the foes of the old ones. Next up, Springs of Eternal Life, and me moving my. Hero round, cause oops, nearly forgot about that. How am I doing for public order here? Corruption minus thirteen. Ew, 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 ew. I'm always gonna have to deal with corruption, cause this is a vampire province by nature. Well, tomb kings, but they're being reflected as vampire counts due to the tomb kings DLC not being out yet. Because it's going to be the Tomb Kings, guys. It's going to be the Tomb Kings. No one is in doubt that it is going to be the Tomb Kings. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. That's actually new. A max rank gold smelter for the Dawi gets you plus one recruit rank for Thanes, all provinces. It's actually new. Well done, Dali. You got a buff. Well, nothing much to do this turn, but hope that when I hit end turn, Clan Moors will go in and we can have a great big fight. Because I want to see what happens when they try and push through the gates and meet two cards of Croxagores. That'll be funny. Ha, Lothar failed their ritual. Ha, ha. 
Ha ha! That's K A R M A spelled. Ha ha! They lifted their seat? Ha! Are you seeing that Krokgar is coming in thinking that no, we can't sustain this, we have to retreat? Because they might have taken you attack and they at least have walls, if horrifically. Okay, yeah, I can actually see why they do that. Maybe they're thinking they're going to swing down south and take out Quetgar. That might actually be a problem, because I'd have to face them in an open field battle without walls and horrifically outnumbered. I mean, I still fight it! But. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Let's keep on rolling. Maybe with the. Uh, ritual completed, the buffs to Lizardmen relations will make it so that Zlotlin actually is willing to confederate already. I want- I don't want to have to fight the Tier 5 city. I really don't. It would really suck to fight a Tier 5 city. You own territory I want. Therefore, I'm not going to make friends with you. You definitely own territory I want, you fuckers. I want Bagar. I want this place. It is right in my territory. It is inhabitable. It is a suitable climate for me, so I want it. That's it. Advanced thought is not necessary. Looks like Wissorin is going to try and hold the Springs of Eternal Life, which might make an interesting fight, because they'll have their garrison buffs, and a lord, and a full army. I will have Soros and Temple Guard. <laughs> I think they're going to have much the same issue that the undead have against Chaos, and that trying to match your line troops against... Is that while your line troops don't break, they just die? Uh. <laughs> well. Chosen and Saurus are very much good at making things die. Very, very much good at making things die. Sixty-seven percent, sixty-three percent, fifty-eight. Please let that be an encamp. It is and yeah, he's right outside the springs of eternal life, which have tier three, so two crypt ghouls, two zombies, and two fell bats. Plus some public order and some income, and his army. Ooh, it's got Crypt Horrors. I don't have much... No, never mind. I have Temple Guard for my anti-large, so those Crypt Horrors are screwed. Never mind. If you try and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Crypt Horrors, it doesn't really work. Spoilers. That kind... If, sorry, if you try and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Temple Guard, it doesn't really work. Crypt Horrors are fine to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with. Alright. Croc Guard, get me to you attack. See them run! Run, rat, run! <laughs> but yeah, it looks like I'm going to be facing 27 on 20. I should be able to win that. Actually, no, 26 on 19. I should be able to win that. Especially if I manage to get a character action off with Kikoaka and then put him in the army for extra killing power. The Saurus are going to go through even his Grave Guard like butter, and he has some skeletons among them which are not going to fare well at all against Saurus. Not to mention the zombies are just going to crumple like glass. Also, this annoys me. Gold is terrible armor. The melee, I will, pro I will humbly, not humbly, grumpily. How did I manage to mix up humble and grumple? 
admit that it does kind of make sense. They do have old one technology, and old one technology is complete and utter bullshit. The council is disappointed. <sighs> All right, nothing left to do. I move my heroes. I move my lords. I've upgraded my provinces. What's there left to do? Actually, I can see if I can make friends with Hexawaddle. No, I already checked that this turn, didn't I? Never mind, dumbass me. In the turn. I'll give him another turn that should buff, buff their liking of me up enough that I'll be able to do it. Nigeron! Cult of Pleasure! Ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba da ba da ba! Shut up, Queek! I'm going to kill you! You have one settlement and I'm going to wipe it out. Cause you are a scaven. Actually, that's an interesting tactic for Skaven. Send out one lord and have them raid to get three food a turn. That would be very good for helping your food income as Skaven, honestly. Cause you want to have lots of food if you're going to go into a big battle. So you can spam the menace blow and... Use it as your cavalry equivalent, because that is what it's for. <laughs> it should be interesting to watch, if nothing else. Oh. Crunch. They're sending one old blood out? What are they doing with one old blood? I mean, you can't even raid! As the lizard men, which kind of pisses me off, but whatever. I'd see the lizard men going raiding and trying to find plaques. Let's see how this goes. I wonder if Resor- Is he retreating from the spring? Are they just going to give up the springs of eternal life and then strike at me while, while I'm wounded from slightly from dealing with them? Because I just want to auto-resolve the springs to the ground, frankly. They're not going to do too well against that. And Looks like the Bowman didn't get the fuck all attrition technology that they get. As the Wood Elves. Are those rebels? Whoa, the Black Pyramid just got smashed to pieces! By undead! <laughs> I mean, that'd be fitting if it's supposed to represent the Tomb Kings. They hate the... Oh my gosh. The guy in the Black Pyramid, so... Alright, continue to cleanse corruption. If I set you to normal, you can't get to anyone, except this guy. But can you retreat from encamp stance? I don't actually know. You can retreat from encamp stance. Testing proved. Alright, buildings instructed. Skink lookouts. Ah, Casabar! Alright. I can't get you defenses yet, so let's start getting you money and more growth. Let's upgrade the Shrine of the Old Ones to a Temple of the Old Ones so I can get Skink Priest for that force up there. Get that Stone Marker rolling. Ah, Teotiqua. You need defenses, because everywhere needs defenses. I'm not even joking. You'll see why later. A lot later. I do mean a lot later. Ugh. I guess I could get some beasts rolling, but you don't even have a weapon crafter's commune, but you don't really need one, do you? Yeah, sod it. Let's get it rolling. I still can't get to the Springs of Eternal Life in one turn, so 54%. In camp. 
You. Run as close to the springs of eternal life as you can, because I have no issue. Because I have complete confidence they'll be able to run them over with Tamantarax. Because, well, 19 on 7. They'd have to be chosen for me to be worried about that. That'd have to be playing, like, Skaven. <laughs> Alright. Seems like there's nothing going on this turn. I'm just chasing down rats. No, you failed, failed. Look, attack. Well, they're gonna try and strike at Scraghole with Butt Drac, because that does have 13 cards, but some of them aren't too good. Hmm. I do have the Blessed Ancient Stegodon, though. Uh, so, I, mm, let's just end the turn. Uh, no. Looks like Queek's personal army is moving up. Ah, he replaced himself as a, he replaced another lord with himself. Okay. Two lore masters. That is a very nasty combination. Lore masters are good brawlers, and they're especially good lord killers if the lord is on foot. I wouldn't match them against Krotgar, because they have no magic resistance, you'd be in a squishy humey. Well, squishy elfy, but they're basically humans in terms of build. Physically superior, but not enough to deal with. And then I got smacked by a T-Rex. <laughs> Most things aren't really physically superior enough to humans to get to deal with, I, and then I got smacked by a T-Rex. That tends to, you know, cause people issues. Just a bit. Just a bit. Hey, Rainer. No, Soren is going to try and garrison the Springs of Eternal Life, but he's in March stance. So if I strike right now, right now, I'll have an advantage because all his troops will be tired, so they'll crumble more easily. And I'll happily take Crumbled Undead in a fight. Much easier than non-Crumbled Undead, after all. Especially if I can hit them with a the hero action first, because they'll be out of March next turn. The AI isn't that stupid. Looks like we may just have a fight this episode, ladies and gentlemen, and one that isn't, and then Grimlock killed literally everyone. Get over here. You think you can take me? You don't think you can take me. Wise rat. Is there an arrow? Get you a little closer. Yep. 
Goodbye. Garun Kani! Magical! Ooh, that's nice! Magical and poison attacks is, a, is an enchanted item. That's good. And I got some chameleon skinks from Sotek. I don't really want that, but I guess I'll take them. No, I don't want to do that, actually. I just want to look at them. I actually don't even want that, frankly. Okay, if I move you up against Queek, no, you still need to work. Okay. I'll get you Proud Warrior to buff up your Saurus. And I'll have you wipe out Queek, who is on the march. Goodbye! Two major stacks of Skaven, absolutely wiped out, and Quet Jarek is now Vermin Flail, which is very, very powerful indeed. I believe I've praised that before. Ooh, Obedience brings victory. Lizard men are very good at hold the line! Hold! Hold! Alright. Get to the Fortress of Dawn. I'm taking it, even though it has a shitty climate for me. Alright. You can't get to the Springs of Eternal Life, can you? There's a river in the way. God damn it! I wonder if they'll feel ballsy enough to try, in which case... Hmm. If the dwarves move in and demolish it, though, I'd be quite happy. Hmm. What sort of army does he have now? I know he has some Grave Garden there. I've seen this stack before, but... The fact that he has three cards of zombies says nothing good. Corpse carts are gonna suck, though, unless I can get my horned ones on in them, because clearly. Thankfully, the AI plays very aggressively with them, so that will help. Hmm. But you're in. You have the crown of command. That's actually not very good. Actually, wait. What is Krotgar? What's Krotgar's enchanted. Wait, it's the hand of gods, isn't it? Is it the hand of gods? It's the hand of gods. Okay, you're not getting anything new then. Causing fear and terror won't help you, but neither will Unbreakable, so... I could get you the Horn of Kygor. That's a pretty good one. Plus 25 melee attack, actually. Let's go for that. And you have a Sword of Might, but the only other option is a Relic Sword. Alright, looks like this is the best I'm gonna get. Fighting some Zambies! Lest the Dawi decide that they don't want these Zambies around and kill them all instead. I wouldn't complain if they did. Well, actually, I would. Because I don't want... Because I want to kill the Zambies, damn it. <sighs> Whoa! Rank 4 Guildhall of the Goldsmiths! For the Dawi, generates not only plus one Thane recruit rank, but plus one Lord recruit rank all provinces. That is a good, good building. Alright! I should be able to force myself across the river no matter what next turn. I'll have the Horn of Kygor, which will help greatly with giving my, my troops much needed melee attack, because Lizardmen aren't too good at melee attack, they're very good at melee defense. That means I'll chop up more Zambies. Unless, of course, Resor decides I don't really want to fight the Dawi and the Lizardmen and the Wood Elves in a row. Because that would not end well for him, unless he has, like, most of those hidden cards as Graveguard. And even then, I don't think he'd do too well just because of my Saurus will go through Graveguard pretty decently. Come on, come on, hurry up. I want to kill some Zambies. Let me kill some Zambies. Come on, come on, kill me 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 some Zambies. Come on, come on, 
Also, if the elves want to mess with my shit, I'll murder them all and take their stuff. Because that's what you get when you mess with the lizard men's shit. You get some of it, and then, they, and then they come and murder you all and take their stuff. Oh, great! Oh, great! Oh, great! Oh, great! I'm going to have to fight the Dowie now. Thank you, Zlotlun! And also, fuck you! Because fuck... I'm just angry now. If Greybeard Prospector is forcing me to back away from demolishing a bunch of fucking undead, I'm going to be angry! I'm not getting an aggression pact with you, you're orcs. Greenskins are part of the enemy that must be purged from the world. Uh, with Soren is... What? He's in my... I think I'll go for taking on his army again instead of taking on his settlement, because that'll get me closer to Bagar. I think I might also just get gacked by Dawi if I try that. Fucking hell. This is not a good situation in case my repe my repeated utterances of fucking hell didn't make that clear enough. I could go for bestilling onto solar engines here. Sought it. Let's go. Fucking roll. Scrag hole. Ford up. And increase my income. Rockgar! Get to the Fortress of Goddamn Dawn! Assault units, 43% chance! Come on, succeed! Make my life easier! Yes, you succeeded! Thank you! Thank you, Kikoaka! Specialist point for you! This is impudence. No, this is your death. What are the all? Uh Do I want to fight this? If I don't fight this, we're not having a battle, so. Let's fight it! Slot it! Welcome to the loading screen, ladies and gentlemen. And they're gonna be tired, because they are in march stance! Like a bunch of idiots! <laughs> Alright. One of the big disadvantages of the undead is that they're zombies and they're crypt ghouls. And crypt ghouls are actually quite good because they have poison attacks. Have no shields. So I have confidence that my skink skirmishers are going to cause quite a lot of damage here. Especially with the fire leech bolas. Pterodons. Because those aren't skinks. They are skinks, but they're on like... They're on not pterodactyls. I think those are going to be what's going to help me the most because I'll be able to kill their chariots. And while the chariots themselves aren't very dangerous as, like, chariots, like, they're terrible combatants. 
They're just going to get demolished. Alright, let's set you to group five? Took me a bit to stretch my finger over there, frankly. Control group four. Control group one. Control group two. And I guess control group three. Where are their cavalry? Cavalry are on the left flank, so if I put so I want to put my skinks on the right. Wait, cryptors are faster than skinks? Uh oh. There we go. What exactly are the effects of the corpse cart magical aura? It'll. Oh, it's just a buff. I thought these were the. Ri no, that's the corpse cart with the other thingy on it. The one I can't remember the name of. God damn it. The revivification? No, not the revivification crystal. Damn it. So they're much less dangerous. I'll probably just focus on killing their fell bats then. Put you guys on this flank. And also, I should probably dense myself up. And put the Lord in the front, because Lord Almighty. No, seriously, Lords are really good. They're pretty much Almighty. Not just being my usual blasphemous self here. <laughs> Alright, kill the Felbat so you can fight unhindered. You guys move up. You move up. You guys move up into here. Let's roll! They're all drained, so they'll have some serious leadership issues. A few points might not sound like much, but it'll change but it can change the tide of a fight. Oh, they're not even giving a shit about those. Oh, they spawned Van Hell's Dance Macabre. Alright, let's start getting those charge bonuses in. And the Lord just... Actually, my lord should probably get on those Cryptors. Because Cryptors are bastards like that. And those cryptors are just getting shot up and there's no real thing and there's nothing they can really do about it, frankly. Get the corpse cart. Kill the black knights. If I wipe out their the faster I wipe out their cards of Ooh, the Temple Guard! Yeah, if I get their Temple Guard and the Black Knights with their anti-large, they're going to get shredded. Oh, that's adorable. They're trying to brawl with me. 
Like they're legitimately making a dangerous attempt to brawl with me. Well, I say dangerous, but... Flanking! All right, break that corpse cart. Bust you regeneration, so fire leech bullets are even better. And are those skirmishers winning in a brawl with cryptorers? Wow, those cryptorers really got wrecked by shooting, I guess. Says that card wasn't even brawling. That's dumb, okay. Whatever. Their cavalry has been evaporated. Put my cavalry on their cavalry. Put these temple guards right up their ass. Put them on those cryptors. Get them get the get those cryptors, guys. My lord is right in the middle of the fight. Let's pop his buffs. It's for a little extra support. What sort of shields the Black Knights have? They have... 30%, okay. Ha! Then they turned around and immediately got shot up the ass! Nice! They didn't, none of them died from that salve up the ass, but they got wounded, I know that much. They're crumbling! Not literally, but they're close to that. Ramp their ass! Ramp their ass! Mm. Oh good god, do you see that happen to that unit card? Alright, start softening up those zombies. Move in for, I guess, a little fire support up the ass. You guys, kill with Soran. Actually, you know what? No, let's fly you over. Rocks fall, zombies die. Mmm. Does he have regeneration? He has the hunger. I suppose that's fitting. Alright, you guys also ran up their ass. Come on, charge. These hard ones are losing, but... I think that tide is about to change. Yenda just cannot brawl with lizard men. They just don't have the force. A great big mosh pit. You two skinks, get shoot those cryptors. They don't want to see those cryptors return to the battle. I pull these Saurus out so they can run back right in. These Temple Guard, sandwich. Watch them start to crumble as soon as that strike hits. 
Oh, well, nope, they're already crumbling even before that charge. Yeah, they're massively crumbling now. Massive crumble, they're all dead. Complete slaughter, total domination. I should probably stop those Fire Leech Bullets troops firing, but I don't really care because this is fun as hell. There we go, decisive victory, just like Auto Resolve would have had it. Probably not quite as good because I did get my cavalry a bit butchered as I tend to do, but eh. <laughs> My losses! 80 Saurus! 80 men, rather. Their losses! 1,683! 21 to 1 kill to death ratio! Do you think I did well? Because <laughs> I think I did very, very well there. Granted, I probably could have maneuvered the infantry line better, but the best way to kill the undead when you have superior infantry troops is to outgrind them. And I very much had superior infantry troops. If they had all, had all grave guards replaced those zombies and crypt ghouls and skeletons, they might have had a chance, but... Well. Infinite possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, huh. Once again, the highest killers were not the better Saurus. I might need to get the Temple Guard stuck in a bit better, because this is getting strange. Hmm. Ah, oh, well, this entire hostile stack wiped out for, like, no losses on my part, so... <laughs> Look, there's not much else to say. Just finish the damn loading screen already. <sighs> Absolutely no permanent losses taken. Let's at least ambush so if the Dolby try anything, I can rip them apart. Alright, is there anything else I need to do this turn? No, I think I did everything I needed to do this turn. Yep. Alright! So, ladies and gentlemen, if I'm going to hit end turn. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. One of the threads will be linked on space battles and sufficient velocity. I'll save the end of this turn. And you all can get a nice surprise at the strategic situation. So I suppose now I'll just let the intern go through. And then I will save in the episode. But the only threat right now on the field is the doll is that dolly stack nearby. And I'm not too worried about that. The Dawi are very dangerous, don't get me wrong. They're probably the best infantry brawlers in the game. Excepting per perhaps Chaos Chosen with great weapons. But with all the buffs I've given to my Saurus, 
I feel confident in my ability to take them on somewhat. Especially as AI Dawi are very... Good God. God. No more tuna for me, it seems. Anyway, AI Dawi are very good at dealing... Are not very good at dealing with cavalry. Good God. I'm just butchering my words today. Yeah, well. Hurry up and finish this. Come on, Greybeard's Prospectors. Are you going to try and come and fight me? You have a full stack, and I'll take Vampiric Attrition. Oh, they have miners and warriors. No wonder they don't want to fight my source in a straight-up slug match. that one Skaven Lord stack? Because that, that'd be funny if they do that. Whoa! They lost... How do you lose... Oh! They got reinforcements from the Fortress of Dawn! Okay, that makes sense. I was wondering how one Skaven Lord managed to kill most of a stack of Chaos troops. That would have been very strange. Alright, looks like there's no events this turn. So, if you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, again, the comment section below, or on the threads on space battles and sufficient velocity. I'm saving now, and we'll end off the episode here. Goodbye, everyone. I'm going robot kaiju hunting.